Knoxville is 12 hours, 31 minutes from your location by car in light traffic. It's hoping. All right, let's go. next to me, smile so sanctified, sweet half the morning do. bounded by the ocean, thousand miles of my real view, but I ain't seen nothing baby, quite as beautiful as you. Alright, just crossing into Pennsylvania, it's a uh, welcome center coming up in a mile or so, and uh, I'm not sure if I'll pull over at this point. Had a uh, breakfast bar, peanut butter oat bar. So I'm good for food. I got about 200 miles uh, fuel range left. So well, I was uh, considering maybe stopping here, refueling. Stop here. I think, uh, I think we're in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Gonna get some gas and then uh, maybe a little food. We'll see. Unfortunately, uh, the barbecue joint in question here looks like it was this food truck behind me, which does not appear to be currently open. So that's a big fail there. Um, backup plan is a place called Clutch Smoked Meats. That's six minutes away, uh, highly rated, and uh, we'll check that out. That'll have to do for now. So that's a little disappointing, especially since uh, I did get here still one one forty six and. Supposedly they closed it too, so they closed a little bit early, I guess. Let's see Third Street, we're going to go to Second Street. So far, I kind of like the layout of this place. Very old brick. A lot more open than what we're used to doing in New York. 
And here we go for Clutch at Barbecue. Let's, um, let's check it out. This is bank parking. All right, we made it. We're gonna eat some barbecue and um, get some shots with the, the camera. See you in a bit. Okay, with that, I finished my meal, my lunch at uh, Clutch's Smoked Meats. I have to say, it was uh, pretty good. I would give it a 7 out of a 10. I got a, uh, a brisket sandwich with pimento cheese. And it was, um, it was quite delicious, I have to say. The pimento cheese just added just a little something extra to it. I'd say maybe the brisket itself on its face is not the highest quality. That's not, that's not to say that it was bad, but I don't know if I would put it in the top tier of barbecue that I've had in my life. But just um, with the extra pieces of the pimento cheese and then a little bit of uh, kind of a sweet uh, spicy sauce and stuff, just the little extra things really brought it up. So that I, I think seven out of 10 is a fair assessment. But uh, I very much enjoyed my lunch. Um, walking around here now, I, I'm starting to feel a little out of place. Like I'm still wearing, uh, I actually wore these clothes to bed last night. Um, I got long sleeves and, and sweatpants going right now. And um, as I noticed when I got out of the car here in Roanoke, Virginia, it is 80 degrees. Roanoke, Virginia, I like. I wish I could spend a little more time here, but off to the next thing. Barbecue, I give it a thumbs up. I think it's a, a strong place to start our journey here. So, off to Knoxville, Tennessee, leaving Roanoke, Virginia. See you at the next one. And there we are. There it is, finally. I made it to my hotel in Knoxville, at the Crown Plaza, I believe. Oh, hey, how do we have came? Lonely has the last. Lonely has the last. Lonely has the last. Lonely has the last. Lonely Well, I had to say it was a long drive, but uh, it was uh, you know, it's not like a broken record, but it was a pretty easy drive. Pleasant ride, and uh, but a little tired, so I'm gonna get a little rest. I'll be uh, meeting up with some familiar faces. So I uh, brewery right down the street on my way in, and I'll probably check that out. So anyway, I'm just gonna get situated here, rest up a bit, and uh, see what else uh, Knoxville has in store for me this evening. All right. Good morning, everybody. All right, woke up. It's a beautiful day in Knoxville, Tennessee. Had a couple uh, surprise visitors last night. Um, some some family come uh, to meet me here. Went out and got some uh, some fried chicken. I'll uh, post all that stuff when I get a chance. But um, Knoxville's definitely a cool little city. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, so packed up in the car and right now. Headed uh, on our way to Nashville. And I can see right now, end. getting back on the highway. Exiting downtown Nashville on our way. Sorry, downtown Knoxville on our way to Nashville. And this is the uh, Tennessee day of our trip. We're going to uh, pass through Nashville. I'm not going to stay there for the night, unfortunately. i got to be in Memphis this evening. Um, so, we're going to stop in Nashville for lunch at uh, Prince's Hot Chicken. 
Okay. All right. Just leaving Prince's Hot Chicken. Uh, my nose is running. Face is burning. And that was to be expected. It was excellent. Um, pardon me here while I just need to put out a little uh, post to my social media empire. Good lord. Woo! So, here are my initial thoughts driving around Nashville. You know, this is not exactly a fair assessment thus far because we're not in the downtown area, we're just kind of on the outskirts. And it just seems uh, a little bit more congested, a little more commercialized, a lot of strip malls. Um, much flatter, and it's not exactly flat. It's not Florida flat, but it's um, the uh, landscape is much less defined than what you'd see kind of in Knoxville. Weather is very similar, but then again, we didn't go any further south. We just went west. Right now, it's two o'clock, two p.m. Looking at eighty-four degrees here in Nashville. Cause he had Boomba's Pizza. So here's how shitty I am at travel vlogging. Um, yesterday I set out kind of um, some bullet points and a general guideline to what I was gonna be doing. And uh, I said, I'm gonna try, you know, and uh, taste all the barbecues everywhere I go along this route. And um, I just rather, the last two places I've been um, have not had barbecue. But uh, went with the fried chicken. Now, in my defense, Nashville here especially, um, I'm sorry to say, barbecue, very lackluster, uh, in my opinion. I've been, you know, listen, I haven't lived out here, and uh, I've been through here a couple times, three or four times, and I've uh, usually gotten barbecue each time, and I've always been disappointed with it. And um, I don't know. I think uh, last time I was here, I went to a place called Peg Leg Porker, and I think it was the most highly uh, reviewed, highly rated barbecue place in Nashville, and I was just very underwhelmed. It's just, it's, it's mad. It's fine. It's not bad, but it's not great. However, you know, listen, you got to play to the strengths, and uh, Nashville does fried chicken very well. And um, evidently, Knoxville also, also so. So I didn't um, didn't try the barbecue in Knoxville either. But uh, both places, both Knoxville and uh, in Nashville, had pretty darn good fried chicken. Where else we went? Um, I didn't give Knoxville a fair shake as barbecue wise, so I'm not gonna not gonna judge there. But just here in Nashville, um, just my previous experiences, I've never had like out of this world barbecue here in Nashville. And maybe that's just me talking out of my ass and being completely um, not knowing what I'm talking about. So, if you know of a, uh, a good uh, barbecue place in Nashville, put it in the comments, and uh, maybe next time I come around these parts, maybe on the way home, I'll try it out. But um, for the time being, Prince's Hot Chicken, excellent, great, great chicken here in Nashville. And um, tomorrow when we're in Memphis, we'll be back. Uh, we'll be back doing barbecue. Up, oh, got a little um, fire truck slash ambulance. <clears throat> Very odd-looking emergency vehicles here in Nashville, I have to say. They're like orange, kind of shaped like potatoes. It's never easy to say goodbye. This time is no different. I leave the family, and I go it alone from here on out to Memphis, Tennessee. Another three hours, 16 minutes. And that's all the way to my destination, where I will see everybody else tomorrow. So, this is the last leg of my journey, at least the journey there. Um... Be in Memphis in hopefully three hours and 16 minutes. So let's get going. All right, six 
6.22 and I just arrived in Memphis, Tennessee. About five minutes from my hotel. And uh, it's been a long journey in these last two days. And I've, but I finally arrived. Cool. I don't know what the speed limit is on this road. There's a bunch of speed bumps. Change, baby. Said we'll stop, gonna be my last. We'll see how far I'll go home. Headphones worth of gas. Getting home, I almost see my family. 18 hour drive. About 6 30, Thursday. Van to Memphis. Check out some uh, music, I suppose. See what's going on. 